Hello everyone, this is a quick review of this smart battery camera. It is a home surveillance camera kit and has everything that you see here. And this is all you need to install it. You have the camera bracket, the hardware to install it. And inside this little bag, you're gonna see a pin that would be needed in case uh, that you need to reset the camera. You have your instructions, a micro USB cable, and the camera. I want to give you some uh, dimensions for this camera. The length of it is four and a half inches. The width would be two inches, and the height would be three inches. In the metric system, uh, the height would be eight centimeters. The width would be five centimeters. And the length would be 12 centimeters. The camera has a little bit of weight to it. Inside, you have a rechargeable battery uh, that is an 8800 milliamps battery so it has a lot of uh, power uh, reserve once you charge it 100 percent it should last somewhere between three months to five months depending on the amount of events that it records and um, in the back of the camera you're going to see a quarter of an inch thread for the bracket the bottom has the speaker. This camera uh, allows you to have two-way audio. So you have your speaker right here. And it also has a rubber cover that protects the ports inside. Let me see if I can get it on video. You're going to see the slot for your micro USB uh, that you will need to charge it. There's also a pinhole and that's where uh, you would put that pin uh, in order to reset it. The slot for the micro SD card, it takes up to 128 gigabytes. And this is your on and off button. In order to turn the camera on, all you have to do is press this button and hold it for a couple of seconds until you hear a sound and see the light. And there you go the camera is on. In my case, you're going to see that it has a status light that is uh, blue, steady blue, uh, and that is because my camera is already uh, paired to uh, my system. This one works with 2.4 gigahertz and uh, it does not have 5.0. So uh, remember that you have to install it with your 2.4 gigahertz network. The front of the camera has uh, the lens and around the lens, uh, you can't see them, but there is um, uh, uh, there are several infrared uh, lights. On the left side, there's a little bit of a pinhole there, and that is your microphone for your two-way audio. And this right here is your passive infrared sensor. Um, these two antennas uh, are uh, four decibel antennas and uh, that uh, helps with uh, this camera having a very good range. In case you install this camera outside, this is an outdoor and indoors camera. It comes with um, a little bit of a port here so you can plug the micro USB through the cover but if you're using it with just the battery then you don't need to open that in order to turn the camera off I forgot to mention it all you have to do is the same thing press and hold the power button for a couple of seconds and you will hear the sound and the camera is off When you do your installation, uh, please make sure that you charge 
the camera to 100%. Uh, the status light that you saw earlier, uh, this one right here, changes colors. Um, if it is yellow, that means that it's charging when you plug your micro USB cable. Once it turns green, it is 100%. And when you see it steady blue, that means that it's connected, and blinking blue, it is ready to pair. I forgot to mention that there are a couple of uh, LED lights right here, and that is your spotlight for um, nighttime illumination. And the camera, of course, has infrared, and um, it can uh, record in total darkness. While your camera is being charged, which may take up to four to eight hours, mine took about five hours to completely charge, um, you should um, read your instructions and in this little booklet you're going to find a barcode uh, that you can scan with your phone or tablet and this will allow you to download the Vico Home app. It is a free app, it works very well. Um, I have several cameras in my surveillance system and they're all connected to that app. Um, the app is free um, and it provides you with up to seven days of uh, uh, videos uh, being uh, saved in the system up in the cloud and uh, up to one uh, uh, gigabyte of uh, storage if um, you and that is the free plan so you don't have to pay for anything it is free if you have um, the need for more storage they have uh, three different plans and the the one that i have is the three dollars per month uh, it gives me 15 days of uh, video storage and uh, up to three gigabytes you can also install uh, 128 gigabyte uh, micro SD card and uh, then you could have a lot more storage in the camera and uh, once you have the app uh, you do your registration and once the camera is 100% all you have to do is follow the instructions and the setup and the installation is extremely easy um, I have several of these cameras in my home they all work great uh, it is 1080 hd quality video two-way audio infrared passive infrared uh, motion detection and uh, it, it they work just great so i give it five stars and i absolutely recommend them